Oh yeah. Here we have the Vesper. The Vespa. This is the Vesper, not the Vespa. The Vesper. Vesper. <laughs> yes. It's not a motorbike. <laughs> This would be, in my mind, like if you could just have one board for a lot of people, a lot of surfers, the Vesper really fits that bill. Yeah. It's a total small wave weapon, but it'll hold in whatever you can paddle it into. The Vesper is probably the most user friendly board that we make. Yeah. And it kind of works for everybody across all ability levels. Even sure. Victor rides one at a, a little mini version of the Vesper yeah. all the time. So I see. I think that's initially what I thought the board was. It was going to be a good, you know, a small wave sort of board. But it's worked out from one foot to six foot. The board covers a lot of range as well too. So, yeah, yeah I'm amazed how well this board holds in. For the mid-length that I've had at 6.8 to 6.10, versions it just feels so good like you can surf it as a yeah obviously mm -hmm. longer and shorter but at the same time too I've been uh, this like my go-to is the 6.4 yeah it's pretty incredible the amount of speed you get out of the sport yeah the speeds ridiculous I, to me the other thing is how nimble it is for a bigger board yeah it's, there's a difference between this and sometimes people that are used to riding mid lengths. The feeling and the reaction of the Vesper is like heightened. It it's is. Like you feel the, the lift of the plasmic channel. The board's just basically built for speed. Yeah, very fast outline. Outline shape is kind of parallel through the tail, which I think is where you feel the drive yeah. and the projection. It has the same channel that we do with the plasmic Adelma, which creates a ton of lift on the tail, so mm. it creates this feeling of freedom yep. and nimbleness under your back foot, drag-free experience, yep. and then the second you stomp on it and you push it, you it forces do. water through the slot, and that's where you feel acceleration exactly. and like this turbocharged feeling through a turn. A full, it's a fuller volume board that has a, a more refined contact point with the water. And mm. so you're leveraging the volume and all the mm. meat of the board into a more finite space, yeah. which gets water shearing off the rail faster and it makes the board feel more reactive for a board that's got some, some, some beef to it. It's versatile in all different types of conditions and I can actually turn it. I can actually turn a big board like crazy. I can actually lay it over on rail. You can lay it on rail, definitely. I can't believe how much speed they hold through the turn. Like the second half of your cut back, it just you're driving through even faster than when you first go into the turn. Yeah, you almost feel it accelerate, accelerate halfway through. It does, so it's as long as strong as your legs are gonna push the board and as you're gonna hold it, you're, um, the board, you've got a lot of trust that's gonna hang in there for you. When we were designing models and thinking about boards that were gonna work for you, that's, that was the number one yep. thing, was to make a board that is gonna hold on rail, gonna drive through a turn properly, yeah. and so that was like the kind of the starting point.